Hey Adventures, this is Jerry from Adventures Jerry Land. Today, it's all about the cargo trailer. It's right behind us. But right now I'm in my quick set uh, pop-up shelter. And before we get started, I just want to get something to wet my whistle. Today's choice, Jenga choice, is the uh, unsweet tea. And since I can't be at the ocean, I'm going to drink it out of my Panama City Beach, Florida cup. All right. Well, I was going to do a whole nother video about a, a different subject regarding the cargo trailer, but I decided um, I want to do it on hiccups. The reason why I haven't been out, well, my husband and I, why we haven't been out um, traveling. And um, what brought it up was last week I had a uh, subscriber of mine, James, asked, uh, he says, you talk about it, but you haven't did it. And so <laughs> it's a very good question. And I gave him like a real short answer, but I wanted to go more in depth. And um, so the reasons right now we're not traveling and um, traveling, RVing, camping is the main one is the pandemic. Every time we seem to, every time we seem to want to go out, it seemed like there was a, different hiccups. Um, my husband had some surgery that was supposed to happen this spring, but it was put back, uh, it was put off on the back burner because it's an elective surgery. And um, they wanted to wait until all of this COVID-19, you know, um, you know, settled down. The surgery is a major surgery, but um, it can be, it can be uh, put off for a little bit. That's the main reason. And, um, you know, the whole stay at home, I've been buying stuff. So when we do eventually we go out, I'll have something. I was like, oh God, I hope there's not something already <laughs> in my drink. All right. I want to say uh, cheers to you guys if you're out drinking your coffee or beer or whatever. Cheers. Salute. Okay. And so with uh, with his upcoming surgery, we've, uh, we've had uh, doctor appointments. Not we. I go with him or sometimes I just wait. And um, so he has to get prepped and everything, you know, do the blood work, do everything, and um, take it easy. And so that limits our travel. We can't really go anywhere because this needs to be done. Um, so, yeah, without going into great more detail. And with all the other, uh, you know, the stay at home, the social distancing, you know, a lot of the RV parks were closed. And so... Um, I've been trying to, while we're in this like hiccup stage, trying to figure out when's, what can I do on my end to make our travel in the cargo trailer go smoothly when we do go out. So I bought a couple things and the hubby did too. So I wanted to share with you. So right now, I don't know if you could see this fan and we're gonna. So I figure when I'm in my quick set, you can see this. Oops. That's what it's blowing on me. It's a little desktop one. Because it is really hot today here in Indiana. So, you know, instead of like spraying all the time for bugs and stuff, um, I've been looking into a thermosail. Put down in the comments below if you, you know, when you go camping, do you use one of those thermosails? Um, what it is, uh, well, I've read about it where it just like a 1500 feet or 12 depending on what size you have what it does is it keeps all the bugs away so I'm looking into a thermosail but for right now I'm in this tent I set it up early so there's no mosquitoes in here I mean there's critters on the ground <laughs> but um, so I got a fan right now so if anything's flying around you know mosquitoes can't really fly and win so the hubby he went and got this ready wise emergency food supply it has 60 servings up to 25 years shelf life so this was part of our hunkering down and um, yeah that's a lot of food well he's thinking more like food stuff 
And then he also has this one month emergency food supply and it's by the Wise Company. It has 112 total servings of entrees, sides, drinks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, ready to eat in minutes. So, this is what. So, the whole, you know, prepper kind of thing. He wants to have food that, you know, you already have your, your dry beans, you have your rice, you have all these things to. Um, has has a great shelf life but he wanted to go a step further and i mean there's some pretty good let's see the things on the back it's quite a different quite a few different uh food uh oh but i wanted some fun stuff so i had this only cost five dollars at walmart this is a classic column pathway lighting set and it's up to eight hours of light and it's for solar and it's got six lights and I just took this off and so it is you just I want to put it around the campsite you know let the sun hit it so at night we have some light so um, two to three feet suggested so you're supposed to space it two to three feet away and it has 3000 K warm white light and it has a battery included inside so here I'll let you see that and there's six of them now what came in the mail today was a rope light and he asked me what color do you I want red green blue whatever purple there's so many different kind of lights what he got was a warm light warm warm white light and so we're gonna figure out how to put it somewhere in this tent so when you come out you know you have some nice light some nice soft light move, move, uh, mood light nice soft white loop, loop lining. oh my god mood lining all right I'm gonna move this camera here for a second and so he's got this transfer liquids fast and easy this turbo pump automatically transfers gas water and more lightweight and portable battery powered auto stop sensor so what this does is um like my mother-in-law she uses it for water and uh my hubby he uses it for gas so you know instead of lifting up a big old five gallon thing to put in the lawnmower you know you could do this so if you see this so little things that make it easy I think he wanted to keep one for gas and one for water God forbid you don't want to get them all tied up but we just wanted to come along the way um, to make our camping our boondocking a little bit more comfortable for us um, like I said this fan I, I don't know I'm gonna have to play back this video to see if this is really uh, obstructing my my voice, it, you know, how loud that is. It seems like it's really, really light. I mean, between the trees blowing and, you know, everything. So these are little odds and ends that, you know, not must-haves, but just makes it, I don't know. Like I said, as far as the food, you can't go wrong with that, you know. And as far as the light, you know, you always want to have some kind of light for security purposes and all that good stuff. And again, if you're filling up your, you know, your five gallon uh, gasoline or even your five gallon of water, and if I wanted to put it in the Berkey, you know, instead of sitting there and trying to lift up a big five gallon, you know, and then pour it inside the Berkey, this automatically says it automatically transfers gas, water, more, anything liquid. It works. So, yeah, as much as we would love to go out and um, RV camp, get away. I would love that um, we can't do that at, the, at this moment just because of his surgery that's coming up um, it's one of our hiccups but we're just working around that and once he gets the all clear after surgery and um, he can go out and travel and we can hit the road um, I'm thinking the surgery is going to be uh, put off to August and so you know there's healing time and all that stuff 
But you know, now times, I think they said they want him to start walking and getting up at like two hours after surgery. Um, so, you know, you have that. They don't want you to sit around and lay around. You know, you can get blood clots that way. You, they want you to get up and move. Um, they don't want you laying down. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. And um, like I said, I'm in my, my, uh, my tent and um, right next to the cargo trailer. And um, we are just waiting. We're just waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting for the surgery so we can go. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are out having a really good time this summer. You know, as things are starting to open back up. Um, Put in the comment below, where are you going at this year? What national park? We can't wait to go to any national park. I don't care where. I don't even, at this point, I don't care if it's the Indiana Dunes State Park. I just, <laughs> I just want to go somewhere at this point. Um, you know, we've been, well, I've been camping in the driveway. Now I'm in the front yard with the cargo trailer. You know, these are things that makes me feel like I'm out. But, you know, I need some kind of body of water. Or maybe some mountains off to the side so we can just uh, get get out there and enjoy and have fun because that's what life is all about right you work hard to get to this point where vacations or what have you or you can live remotely you know maybe you work from you know your your camper or maybe you um, you know do everything online and then you don't really have to be uh, stationary you can be mobile and I can't wait so yeah you guys make sure you like hit that thumbs up like share subscribe let me know that uh, you understand when you have hiccups like this you know I would I would love to go by myself but at this point I don't want to leave him you know um, we're in this together I don't want to very well call him and say hey you know I'm here such and such and he's sitting there back at home. I want to wait until we both can go at the same time and have fun. Because, you know, yeah. And next Saturday is our uh, wedding anniversary. 23 years. Took a drink on that one. Mm. 23 years, that's a long, long stretch. Have you been longer? Have you been married longer than uh, Robert and I? Put in the comments. Tell me. Or maybe you you just got married. Or maybe you're thinking about getting married. Or maybe you're like, you know what, Jerry? I just don't want to get married. Maybe you're single. But yeah, put in the comments. You've been married longer than, than we have? Next Saturday. Is it next? No! I take that back. Next Saturday is 4th of July. It's the week after. July 11th. Whew. See? See what happens when you get old? July 11th, 97, 23 years ago, we eloped in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, outside Gatlinburg, where he says he never wants to go again because he doesn't want to go. Just pray for me. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. You guys have a great, great weekend. Happy Monday to you. And uh, you take care. And again, if you've had hiccups like us, you know, things are starting back open and you're ready to get back out on the road, put in the comments below where you're heading. Tell me where you're going. Maybe there's something different that I haven't even thought of. I just want to go west. I want to see mountains and I want to see ocean. That's what I want to see. All about the mountains and ocean. It could be both of them together. At this point, I don't really care. We want to get this uh, hiccup over with and head on over to the highway and see what's out west. All right, you guys take care. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you so much for coming back. Please subscribe. I'm getting, I'm ed etching my way up to uh, 200 subscribers, so I need to get that. So you guys, uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. You take care. We'll see you on the open road. All right, you take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.